Today we have some leaked Vega renders, a new cooler, Intel's Core X clocks, and Threadripper might have 16 disabled cores? Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. Let's get into today's video. First up, the ever-famous overclocker Der Bauer has deleted Threadripper and found four 8-core dies on the 16-core CPU. Now, I will say I've gone back and he made the video private, but he lets us know why. Apparently AMD asked him to, which was odd because they gave him the go-ahead to publish the video in the first place. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Either way, the results of the video are already out. So what's going on? Well, this actually led people to believe AMD had essentially made Threadripper with 32 cores, but just disabled 16 of them somewhat like they did on Ryzen. Which also made them think they might just be planning to go 32 cores in the near future, or even that we'll be able to somehow unlock the disabled cores. While it's still possible we could see 32 cores sometime in the future, it seems these CPUs don't actually have 32 of them. According to an unnamed source at PC World, two of the dies are nothing but spacers, strictly so the heat spreader doesn't warp. While an unnamed source isn't exactly the most reliable kind, this honestly does make a good bit of sense. Next up today, we have some leaked renders of Vega. The first few are pretty much what we've already seen, but you'll notice one looks quite different. Or should I say, really similar to FE? Yup, it seems there's a limited edition Vega with all the sexiness of the Frontier Edition card. I think the big question is going to come down to price, but here's to hoping it's not too much. Now, while sticking to AMD theme news for today, AMD has announced they're going to begin selling their Wraith Max coolers without the pesky need of purchasing a CPU. The cooler is compatible with AM4, AM3+, and FM2. It also comes with a pretty sleek looking RGB ring that's compatible with MSI's Mystic Lighting, ASUS's Aura Sync, ASRock's lighting effects, etc, etc. The unfortunate downside to this news is that it comes in at a pretty hefty price of $59.99 US. This actually puts it in line with some great air coolers out there. More testing honestly has to be done to determine its value since until now it only came with the 1700X and 1800X which certainly made it a great value. But that's not the case anymore, so it would need to be pitted against similarly priced coolers to determine how it stacks up. Of course, if you just want an AMD cooler, you now have that option. Lastly for today, it looks like the rest of Intel's Core X clocks have been leaked. While it hasn't been fully verified, apparently quite a few Chinese outlets are reporting it, but until we hear directly from Intel, it still isn't confirmed. I will say I'd be pretty surprised if it's too far off. Either way, you can see Intel's 18-core CPU has a base clock of 2.6GHz with a turbo clock 3.0 4.4GHz, then the 16-core with a 2.8GHz base and the same 4.4GHz turbo clock. And lastly, the 14-core at a base of 3.1 and a turbo boost of once again 4.4 GHz. Those honestly aren't bad boost clocks, but only third party reviews will tell us how good of a buy those 18 cores are and how high they'll overclock. With that said, for those using it for more of a workstation, you more than likely won't be doing any crazy overclocks, which will almost certainly see its price to performance lower by quite a bit. But what do you think of today's news? Ready for Intel to release their biggest, baddest X299 CPUs? Or are you just wanting to see Vega? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so while that ends today's news portion of the video, before I go, I want to ask all of you what you thought of a couple ideas for the channel. Don't worry, I'm not even slightly thinking of not doing news or anything like that, but I just want to try and bring some variety to the videos. I know I have the Ryzen stream coming up, and I'm actually going to be doing a new review soon as well as hopefully more streaming, but, but I've been going over some other ideas. And I do want to do a lot more reviews and builds, etc., but until I'm able to take less hours on my job and the channel grows so I can get more review units, it makes it tough to do too many of these types of videos. Either way, one of the things I thought about was a monthly series where I look through all the hardware related software and firmware updates like the GPU updates and all of that good stuff and highlight some of the coolest features that month. I think it would be cool because they're releasing them quite frequently and most of it is just bug fixes, but plenty of times there are some really cool updates that many don't know because it's not worth going through all the clutter to get to the good stuff. So that's one idea. 
And then I was also thinking something like video game port review style videos, where I basically go over how good a particular port is on PC. I do have quite a bit of other ideas, but those are some of my favorites so far. Basically, let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you really like one of those, make sure to tell me, or if you have some thoughts of your own, I honestly want to hear it. I really want to always ensure I'm giving my viewers what they want, so your feedback is honestly important to me. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.